to get the map files and the assets from the tiled program into the flame game system we're gonna to have to use a separate package this is called flame tiled and this is actually a separate package from flame so we'll first need to import this and when you import it it's going to also install the dart tiled package so from the command line type in flutter pub add flame underscore tiled after the flutter pub add flame underscore tiled completes you can check your pubspec.yaml and you'll notice that it's right now it's flame underscore tiled 1.4 and the syntax has changed especially for the way to get the objects from the map file so if you're using an older version of flame tiled this tutorial may not work 1.4 is the currently recent most recent version as of may 30th 2022 so let's set up the a variable let's call it home map and that will save the contents of the map file that we're going to load. So we'll await within the onload method, which is an async await, and then we'll use the tiled component. You'll see that it's automatically import this flame underscore tiled package. If the automatic import didn't occur, you'll ha have to manually import it. Tiled component dot load. And then we have the, the name of the map file right here. The destination tile size is the name of the, it's the size of the tiles that we use and it's a vector two. So vector two, 16 by 16. If you recall in the, when we created the map file, we set the tile size as 16 by 16. Then we'll add the home map. And let's see how it goes. Okay, um, I think it's actually loading, but I forgot to comment out the background, you know, the original background map, which is overriding it. So let's do a hot restart and see what happens. Oh, look, it's our new map file. It's looking good. Charlie the chicken's looking quite nicely here. Okay. So in the future videos will cover uh, things like balance detection and collision detection. Um, I think I'm going to make the pineapple a little bit bigger in this video using GIMP. So I'll just increase the, the scale of the pineapple using the under the uh, image, uh, image size, scale image, and then I'm going to triple it. So in GIMP, you can do um, rudimentary arithmetic. So I'm going to multiply it by three and automatically will scale both the, the width and the height for me by a factor of three. Then I'll save it and I will put this back into the tile map. I'm going to save it as a different file name. I'll call this one pineapple3x for a jumbo triple sized pineapple, which will actually look fairly normal in our game. So I'll save it into the same uh, assets slash images slash world directory. And then I'm going to create a new tile set with my jumbo pineapple. So we'll just drag and drop the entire sprite sheet over into the tile set area of tiled. And I'll leave the tile width as 16 by 16, even though I did in increase it, right? So it's actually 48 by 48, but I'm going to leave it at 16 by 16 so that it doesn't get distorted in this particular map that we're using, which is a 16 by 16 tile set for this map. And I'll place these larger pineapples around, which will be a bit closer to the size of Charlie the chicken. And I don't know if chickens like pineapple, but 
you know, it's a game and you can do whatever you want in your game. So let's go back to the code and I'll just run it and see what it looks like. Oh, nice. These are a much better size of the pineapple. I like this a lot better. There's no bounce detection right now. So Charlie can go off the screen. You have to be careful to keep them on the screen and there's no collision with the obstacles. But these are things that we can easily fix in the future. The main thing is to start practicing your creative energy with the map files and create the type of world that you want to create. It's a lot of fun this way. We can also add additional levels. And so this using this type of map editor is quite a fun way to build the game. So stay tuned for future videos. And um, yeah, maybe subscribe to the channel. And if you like this type, give it a like. And if, uh, if there's enough interest, I'll continue. Have a great day.